Hey you guys, welcome to another vlog and welcome if you're new here. My name is Ashley and this is Park Avenue. Check out all my videos and make sure you subscribe. So thank you guys for tuning in. So this week I'm vlogging and I'm taking you guys with me. I got a couple things going on and I actually intended to start this vlog earlier. Well, kind of. I went to the mall earlier and there were like a lot, there was a lot going on. So I figured um, I would just start the vlog. But then there was a lot going on, so I did start the vlog. So I'm starting it now. But I got some cute things that I want to show you guys that I picked up from the mall today. Um, and P.S. If you're in the Atlanta area, finally we're getting an Aritzia. They're opening one in Lenox Mall, right next to Sephora on the first floor. Um, it says coming summer 2022. So I guess in the next couple months it's going to be here, which I'm really happy about because it's about time, you know? The last time, well, when I was in New York, if you guys saw that vlog, I went to Aritzia then. And they didn't really have any sizes and I wanted to order things online, but then I got to send it back in the mail and I like to return things in the store, but I was about to just go ahead and order online. But then I saw that today. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, maybe I could just wait or I'll go ahead and make the order. And then if it doesn't work out, I can return the store, you know, whatever. But anyway, finally, we're going to get one. So that's all good. But while I was there today, I picked up a couple things. I had to make an exchange at Express. So I picked up a top, just a cute little white top actually that they had. Let me show you. I got to try all these pieces on, but they had this cute little white top it's giving like linen but is it actually linen i don't know okay so it's not linen but it feels like linen anyway this is really cute i'll do um some cutaways and show you guys or i'll just go ahead and try it on i'll try on all the stuff that i got oh and then zara i went to zara and i got this orange linen shirt obviously i'm obsessed and i can't wait until it gets hot enough for me to wear all my linen things so i got that express and then i got the most banging pants you guys let me put these on and show you guys these are a linen blend and these are from zara they're so good honestly these are 69.90 or 69.95 they were 69 dollars, and these could have easily been like a few hundred dollars somewhere else they look so good they're really high quality i just love these so i'm gonna try these on for you guys and then i picked up some coffee so i went to nespresso you guys already know or maybe you don't know, but I'll link to that vlog when I got my um my espresso, my new espresso Nespresso machine. I got it on my birthday. So I'll link to that video if you guys haven't missed it or you didn't know about it, but I really love that one. So I picked up some coffee. So I intended when I went in there to get um the Blue Mountain. They finally had the Blue Mountain coffee pods. Or like they had, yeah, I didn't know they had Blue Mountain before, but finally they have Blue Mountain. And it's so good. I really love it. It tastes really good. But it was limited edition. I didn't even know. I thought it was going to be permanent. So I'm sad about that. It's gone. They have, they only have it available now in a gift set. Where it comes with these cute little, um, they look like really small wine glasses, but they're for like cognac or like bourbon or something like that. They're really small, but of course you can drink espresso out of them. So I'm thinking about maybe I'll get that. Um, at the time I was just like, I don't really need it. I don't drink bourbon or anything like that. So I was just like, maybe I'll just have it for my coffee bar and then I could just drink cute little like um, espresso drinks out of it. But when I have an espresso, I like like a really, you know, like a proper cup. So I don't know. Anyway, I might still get it. It was like 70 bucks. So, and it's the only one left with the Blue Mountain. And then once that sells out, then they really won't have any more. And then they didn't have the Cuban, so which has been in and out of stock. But it hasn't been in stock in a long time because, you know, they have, they're having trouble getting it. But because the um the woman who helped me know that, knows that I like the Cuban, I like the Blue Mountain and everything, and they didn't have it, she recommended... Miami, which this must be new. And I was in there with my mother and half the time I wasn't paying attention because I was also talking to another woman in the store. <laughs> so I don't know how new Miami is or how long they've had it, but I don't remember it being there last time that I went. And so I'm going to try Miami, which I'm hoping is going to be good. And I think it will be good because when I was in Miami, we had a lot of cortaditos, which are little um, espresso coffees. They were so good, you guys. So I'm hoping that this is going to be good. And I actually have some Miami coffee or some coffee that's produced in Miami. I bought the same coffee that they make the cortaditos with. And so um, I haven't made it yet, but it was so good. So I'm hoping that this gives me the same type of vibe. And I can use it with my machine. So I got a few of those. I got three Miamis. And then these are decaf. I don't really drink decaf. I mean, they taste really good, but Winston, he likes decaf sometimes. And my mother likes decaf too, so. But um, yeah, the Miami, I'm hoping, I'm really, I have high hopes for Miami. And then of course, um, I don't, I think it's when you buy a certain amount of capsules, they give you these trials. 
It's um, a couple of samples. I have Cape Town and then I have Stockholm. But I've had these before and they're both really good. Neither one of them are my favorite, but they're really good. Oh, and just so you guys know, the strength level for Miami is a nine. So I like a pretty strong coffee. So this is good. I mean, it's espresso. I like it. Usually maximum strength, but <laughs> let's see how this tastes. I'll let you guys know. And let me know, have you tried the Miami before? And let me know what's your favorite Nespresso because I like pretty much all of them, but there are some that are just my favorites. Like I love the Kazar. I love um, the Blue Mountain and the Cuban. And then I also love the Creme Brulee. That one's really good too. Oh, and I want to show you guys one more thing from Zara, these sandals. These are so cute. Now, these aren't mine. I have to order mine. These are my mother's, but I asked if I could show them in the video. These are so cute, you guys. They're giving, like, they could be Ferragamo. They could be, like, a Gucci horse bit. We're not sure. You know what I mean? But I really love how these look. They look expensive. And these were $49.90. These are really cute. They also came in, like, a cognac color. I saw on the website, but it was sold out in all the sizes. But that's all right. This is a color that I really, really like. And I wish they also had, like, in a yellow or something like that. But it looks like this square toe is a trend right now. I mean, everywhere, but specifically with Zara, they're making a lot of like a square toe um, sandals. So I'm hoping I can find some other cute ones. Oh, and I did get one more pair of sandals for me. I forgot. Hold on, let me go grab them. So I'm really bugging out because I almost forgot. I also stopped at TJ Maxx and I picked up this dry brush. It's by the brand Spa Bella. I don't know, but you know, in TJ Maxx, they always have like a bunch of little trinkets, skincare and all of that stuff. So I picked this up. I really want to try out dry brushing. I've never done it before, but you know, I've been getting more active and I also want to, you know, work on my, my body care, my skincare, as far as like keeping up with exfoliating and staying moisturized because I am going to be doing my self tanner more. I like to be, um, you know, when I can't get out in the sun, I like to make sure that my legs stay nice and tan. So this is going to be helpful. I love that. And I'm trying to make it a priority. I have more like spa days at home, you know, self care days. And then you guys, look at these. Aren't these so cute? So I picked these up as well. I love these. These are calf hair. And then they have, I don't know, is this like sort of like a zebra print? Is that like a zebra print? But these slides are so cute. I'm obsessed. So I have been lusting after the zebra print Bottega pouch. I think it is so cute. But I really don't know that I want to invest in that because I don't know if I'm just lusting after it or I really, really love it. You know what I mean? I just don't know. And for that price, I want to be sure because, I mean, you know, it's something that I really want to wear. And I guess if it didn't work out, I guess I could just sell the bag. But I don't know. I've really been into it. But it's kind of a departure from my normal style. So I'm like, let me just try something else out. But I think this is kind of like the fix that I need. But also, this is slightly different because this has a little bit more... I don't know, more warmth because it has like, you know, a little bit more brown kind of going through it. This is kind of like off-white instead of like black and white, like the Bottega. But anyway, this is a little bit of animal print I wanted to incorporate into my wardrobe and I really like this. These are by the brand Seychelles, but I got them from TJ Maxx and they were really inexpensive. They're $39.99 at TJ Maxx, but it says compare at $60. And I know this is a brand that they sell, I believe, at Nordstrom because I've heard of this brand before. But anyway, I don't even care. I really love these. These are so cute. And that's everything I picked up. Um, they really didn't have a lot of things in TJ Maxx this time around. I mean, of course, TJ Maxx, I feel like it's a place you got to go too often and check out. They did have a, you know, a few little designer things. They had the cutest Fendi bag. It was the Fendi um, Sunshine Tote. I don't know if it was the medium size or smaller than the medium, but it was a really nice size for like every day. And it'll be perfect for like, you know, vacation and things like that. But it was made out of felt. So um, it was just a really nice bag. It was so cute, but it was being held for someone. So um, I was like, maybe I'll just call back tomorrow and see if they still have it. But I, I feel like it's going to be going. It was really cute. I took a picture of it. It was um, a really good size. And it looked like it was in like perfect condition. And for the price that it was, I think it was according to the, the tag. I didn't go look it up. I don't know how much the felt in that size is. But I think it was like six or $700 worth retail, which I think was pretty good if it was in perfect condition, you know? But besides that, they didn't have a lot of stuff that I wanted. And I always check out, um, you know, the designer section. And then I also check out, like, the jewelry section. Because lately, I've been finding some cute pieces, like, jewelry pieces at TJ Maxx. And this little thing, this is Van Cleef inspired. <laughs> I got this from TJ Maxx, too. And I just realized, well, I didn't just realize it, but in the New York vlog, I showed you guys this necklace, like, up close. 
And it was backwards and nobody said anything. So <laughs> if you wanted to see how it looked, oh, I got a little pimple, never mind that. But if you wanted to see how it looked up close, this is it. It has like a little pearl right there. Hopefully you guys saw that. But yeah, very cute. And my bracelet recently that I have been wearing and I also have the matching necklace. This is from TJ Maxx as well. These are David Yearman, these two, my Bengals. And then this chain um, horse bit is TJ Maxx. I'll link it for you guys if you want to check it. I'll link the, I'll link to the necklace because they don't have the bracelet online, but check your local TJ Maxx. Anyway, let me try on these Zara pieces because it's actually getting late and, um, you know, I really started this portion of the vlog pretty late, but let me show you guys the Zara pieces because I'm really obsessed. All right, so here's the linen shirt that I got from Zara. It's an oversized linen shirt. I don't have it buttoned up because I wanted to show you guys like the vibe that I'm going for when I, if I wear with the pants that I have on now. But I really love this linen shirt. I think it's so cute. And I want to get it in some other colors. And this is a size uh, large. It says oversized and I want it to be oversized. So I think this is kind of perfect. I love it. And I also have some bike shorts that I think is going to be a really nice like coordinating set. And that's why I want to get in some other colors because I have other bike shorts and I want to make sets. Because I always just want to have cute things to throw on. Like when I'm going out in the summertime when it's hot. You know, I don't always want to wear dresses or jeans. You know, or like denim shorts. I want to have something that's really, really comfortable, but I can like, you know, just a cute little set. So anyway, this is it. This is so cute. I love it. I'll link it for you guys. Of course, I'll link to everything that I can. And then these pants, you guys. Okay, you got to see these pants. So I think this would be a cute vibe actually together. Like in the summertime, that's why I didn't button it because I was trying to give you guys like the vibe. If I had like a cute little bralette on and then these pants, I feel like that would be such a cute vibe. I love it. So let me just show you the pants though. Okay, so here are the pants. Now they are wide leg, they're cargos. They're so cute. Aren't they so cute? Look at the details. It has like this clip right here and then it has the cargo pockets. Really nice wide pockets. I hope you guys can see the detail because it's like a little bit darker here, but this is so cute. I love these. So initially I had gotten these in extra large and I was like trying to make it work and they were loosening up and everything, but um, I don't want to deal with that because they were, they run kind of short and I'm only five, six, you know what I mean? I'm not really that tall at all. So they were coming up kind of short on me. And so I went up to a double XL. Now the only thing is about the double XL, the waist is super huge. Let me show you guys. <laughs> the waist is really big. Look, the waist is like out here. Can you see that? So the waist is really big, but that's okay. That's something I could get taken in. And if I wear it with loose tops for a little bit, I can just get the vibe of it and see how I feel. But anyway, I'm, I'm probably going to get the waist taken in like I have to. And I just have it imagined that I'm going to wear like a fitted top with it. I'm going to try it on with the, with the express top that I picked up so you guys can see. But I really love this. Oh, these pants are so good. So good. Oh, this is summer. I can't wait. Cannot wait. Okay, so now you guys can see like really how big the waist is. Like, look. <laughs> Even here, like it's like so big. But that's nothing a tailor can't fix. And then this is the top that I got from Express today. I really love these kinds of tops. This, you know, like these shared smock tops i love them and i love that this has some really cute shoulders you could wear it off the shoulder as well if you wanted to i'm probably gonna wear it on the shoulder because i really love like those um you know voluminous sleeves i love anything with a large sleeve so this is right up my alley really cute i hope they make it in black too i didn't see it in the store i'm gonna look online because if they have it in black i'm gonna grab it as well so cute and let me show you guys the shoes because i want to show you how they look on my feet here they are you guys hopefully you can make those out but these are the sandals So that is it, you guys. That was my little that was like my little mini haul. Um, I'm definitely gonna style the pieces up. I have I'm gonna put them in um, like a you know sit down video. I'm gonna style all the pieces up, and I also have another black linen shirt that I didn't get a chance to show you guys before when I did a haul previously. I kind of got a thing for linen shirts right now, and I'm just gonna get a couple more colors, and then I'm absolutely done for the rest of the summer as far as linen shirts go. I think I'll be set, um, but I just want a couple more colors. Unless I see something that's like really really cool, then I'll get it. But besides the couple more colors that I have my eye on. Then I'm done. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is take off my makeup. I already got my pajama shirt on. 
I'm gonna take off my makeup and then um, take my hair down. I just got a couple of braids in the front, like it's twists and braids. Um, I love this hairstyle, by the way. I was really happy with it. I was really happy with it. It held up well. And I told you guys, I was, I've was i been more active, going for walks, we went hiking, and this hairstyle has held up. So I'm gonna take it down. I'm excited to wash my hair because my scalp is getting a little itchy. But I have a hair appointment early in the morning. Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna take you to the hair salon that I go to. So you guys will get to check it out. And then that's pretty much it um, for now. And so I'll just check in with you guys in the morning because after this, I'm gonna just relax. I'll probably go to bed since I have to be up early in the morning. You guys started back in the house. Yeah, we started back in the house. As a matter of fact, Winston was working on his stairs yesterday. Um, but for the last few days. You said he was on it? Yeah, because um he actually started doing a lot of stuff since we've been working on his house. He's been like taking doing a lot of things. Just because for one, it saves us money. Right. And he knows how to do it. So it just yeah. takes a little bit of time. But since we're doing so many things, wherever we can save money, we'll do that. So um, he finished the steps. But we decided to go ahead and just get somebody in there and finish any painting we got to do. Because painting, we can't do it. Mm -hmm. I can't That's do it. It's too much. It's really it's too much. So we had somebody come in. I think last time I was here, we just had somebody do the fireplace. Oh, yeah. And then, Wait. They did. So wait. And y'all painted it. Yeah, we painted the um like the panels on the side. We painted them black. Uh-huh. And then now we're going to have the same man come back and then do all the rest of the trim, like in the studio room. And I think um, some parts in the guest room, need, um, like in the trim, I think it's something there. It's not a whole lot of things I need painted left, but mostly like trim. And that's really annoying. Oh, and a couple of doors, like closet doors. Okay. And you was, you was nervous about the fireplace, weren't you? I sure was But you like it, right? I, I love it, but that's I was really good. nervous about the black. But it worked out really well. And now... I'm okay with trying, you know, experimenting with other like dark paint colors. Right. And we want to put like in the um dining room, we want to put like some like a cabinet, like a buffet style kind of like building thing. Cause first mm -hmm. of all, we need some more like cabinet space, and then um it just we want something else back there. It's just uh, you know empty. So I feel like it'll be nice if we could put all of the like really heavy pots, like the cast iron pots that we don't use every single day. We put them back there. And it gives us some more storage. Because to be honest, even though the house is a good size, we don't really have that many storage. Like, that much storage. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do that. I'm excited. That's going to be nice. I'm really excited about that. Oh, I'm getting the Look, I'm filming the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, look at Okay. So it has been a minute. I actually, the last clip I think you guys saw is at a salon. I believe that's the last clip. Those are the last clips that I took. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already saw I got um, a wig installed. I don't know if I said it on Instagram, but you guys saw me, I had extensions. It was long hair, it was shiny, it was like wand curled, it was really pretty. So um, that was actually some time ago. And as you guys can tell, it's time for me to, I don't know if you can tell, but it's time for me to get my hair done. That's why I have it in a ponytail because it needs to be washed. So either I'm gonna get my hair washed this week um, at some point, it's really busy, so I gotta figure that out. Either I'm gonna get it washed this week at some point, or I'm just gonna wear it like in a slick like ponytail, like I'm wearing a low bun or something like that, um, you know, till I can figure it out, because I gotta film. But I actually just finished filming a video, and I feel like whenever I finish filming, I'm like hot and like all greasy, so I, got, I cannot wait to wash my face. But I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I got. So I was excited about these sandals from Zara, but I gotta take them back. So they're really cute on, I thought they looked expensive, a really nice pair of sandals, but they have like a padding, which is really nice. But when you look at like where the seam is connected, it's like exploding. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but along the seam where like the fabric meets, it's the, it's like exploding, so it's, it's weird. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna return these. I got them so fast too. I think they're already in the store, that's why, but hmm. Unfortunately, I'm sad about those. So I gotta find a pair of gold slippers because for me, gold slippers are like my neutral. You know what I mean? They go with everything and I just love to throw them on with like dresses and shorts and just everything. Even when I'm wearing flats and I'm dressing up, they are like a perfect, perfect, like, you know, add on. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you guys, I got a PR package from a company called Good Molecules. Have you guys heard of them? They're a skincare brand and 
It looks like this is their logo. Good molecules. Have you ever spent a fortune buying skincare only to end up disappointed with the results? The truth is, the truth is most brands spend more on their jars than the formula inside. That's the reason we started Good Molecules, to create products that make a difference in your skin. Products filled with ingredients backed by science. We publish a nothing to hide ingredient list on the side of each box so you know exactly how much of each we use. We also keep prices low because everyone deserves effective skincare with safe ingredients. I'm excited for you to get started with Good Molecules and see a difference in your skin. And it says that it's never tested on animals. So this is really cute packaging. See a difference in your skin with the, like the watercolors. I guess those are molecules. What are, what are color molecules? It looks pretty. Oh, you can get them at Ulta now. There was a, a card in here that says now available at, at Ulta Beauty. So I don't know if you guys want to check it out. I'll link it in the description box. But they sent me over a Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. An ultra hydrating facial oil. I love facial oils, so I'm excited to test this one. And then this is a hyaluronic acid serum. It says formulated to draw moisture into the skin for deeper hydration. I actually ran out of my serum, so I'll test out this one to see how I like it. Oh, and on the back, it gives you the pH, and it tells you that you can use the AM and PM. Oh, so like this ultra hydrating facial oil. This is only for PM. And these... Uh, wake up eye, this wake up eye gel is for AM and PM. And then the last thing I have in here is a niacinamide brightening toner. And it says formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. And it says you can use this AM and PM as well. And they also, on this card that's in here, they also have some other, um, products, a clarifying and cleanse bar. Um, they have a discoloration correcting serum. Um, and then they have a clarified gel cream. I had heard, I hope I'm not confusing them, but I had heard they had some like coffee under eye, um, eye masks that I was curious about. So if they do, maybe I'll have to try those. Like I'll have to get those because it wasn't in this PR package. But so far, I mean, the packaging is really cute. So I'll try it out. Maybe I'll try it out. Actually, we can test it out now. Cause I have to wash my face and this um, facial oil is 4 p.m. so perfect because it is getting toward the evening and I want to take off my makeup and then I have some computer work to do so I kind of want to like wind down and be makeup free I don't know you guys I have been getting so bad like when I'm home like if I'm not gonna be on camera I just really don't want to wear makeup at all and sometimes I'm like even like even on camera like vlogs is cool and everything but when I do like my sit down videos especially especially if it's like sponsored content I want it to be like really polished and you know everything looks good just like you would do you know when you go to your job you want to look put together and everything so you know i do put on my makeup and all that but sometimes i'm just like oh i don't feel like wearing makeup today but we gotta do what we gotta do so anyway we'll test these out i'm excited to see how i feel about them we'll see actually we'll see in a second but so that's it for that We'll probably just chat while I'm taking on my makeup, but oh, look at my Anna Luisa pieces. I'm wearing these silver pieces. I actually am gifting these to my mom. I think I mentioned that in another video when I like showed you guys these, but these are the silver Anna Luisa pieces. I really like the way the silver looks. It's a nice change. Some boys wearing gold. I feel like these are really nice. They still pop on my skin, which is nice, especially now I'm kind of tan. I think they look really good, but I love these pieces. They have a nice weight to them, but not heavy or anything. I love how dainty the earrings are, but I also love how they stand out. Really nice layering pieces. That's what I love most about everything that I have from Anne Luisa, that I can really layer all the pieces together because they're delicate, but they look really nice and bold when you layer everything up. So it's nice to have all the pieces. And if you like to mix your metals, this um, would look really cute as well. You know, like this chain maybe layered up with a couple of the gold pieces. And what I have noticed about some of these Anne Luisa necklaces, I can wear them as anklets. And that's what I did with a couple of my other necklaces. So definitely try it out if you guys have been looking for some new jewelry pieces because you can definitely wear these as anklets, you know, depending. But definitely worth a shot because it looks really cute. And I like that you can get, you know, more out of the piece if you're able to do that. But really cute. I love what this looks. I just have on a t-shirt because I changed out of what I was wearing when I was filming. But let me take off this makeup and try out this new skincare. 
Okay, you guys, so I'm in the bathroom. I'm about to take off my makeup, but I decided I'm not going to try the good molecules, the good molecules now because my skin is having a weird reaction here, like dry patches here. And I think it's best when I try that out that my skin is like just, you know, in its normal condition. So I'm just using my regular skincare that I've been using and started off with my CeraVe. I don't think there was a cleanser included in that package that I got, right? I don't remember reading off a cleanser. So anyway, this is a new one that I got. It's called um, Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser by CeraVe. And I've really been loving the CeraVe products. But the last one, and I still have some, is in the shower. But the other one that I was using is just a hydrating cleanser, which is nice when I'm not wearing any makeup. But when I am wearing makeup, I like to use this one. But first, I'm going to use my makeup removing balm. And I had to, t I just turned off my um diffuser i don't know if it was too loud or noisy or whatever it's pretty low so i don't think you guys can hear it but i've been turning it on every time that i come into the bathroom like in the mornings when i wash my face and in the evenings when i'm doing my nighttime routine because i don't know allergies are still kicking my butt like is that happening for you guys now i'm somebody who didn't suffer with allergies my whole life like i didn't have all these i didn't know i had allergies like nothing was wrong but ever since I moved to Georgia, like many years ago, I have had allergies and I feel like this year was the worst that I've ever had it. So I don't know. <clears throat> That's kind of weird, but I thought the allergies were kind of done. But I was looking up like the allergy index to see what was going on because I had been sneezing a lot. And the pollen count was still pretty high. So anyway, maybe y'all can let me know about that. But I'm about to take off this makeup. All right, so starting off with my pharmacy. I showed you guys this many times before. This is my favorite makeup removing balm. Even though I like a few others, I just, I like this one a lot. <laughs> and it comes with this little scoop, so I just scoop a little bit of it out, put it on my hands and wet my hands. And one of you guys told me about that. I wasn't doing that before. I wasn't wetting my hands before I put my makeup removing balm on. I was just literally going like that. But I find now that if I do wet my hands, it does spread a lot easier. And it almost, it makes it like an oil cleanser, which I think is really the point. So. I've been doing that and it works. Oh, I forgot to serve my lashes. Wow. <laughs> That's never happened before. But you know what? I'm not keeping these. So I'll just use the oil to remove it. Sometimes I'll reuse lashes if I care, but I don't care. So this is probably actually this is actually probably a better way to remove the lash. You know, melt it away with oil. So it just comes off a lot easier. Now I'm gonna go in with my CeraVe. I really only need one pump, but sometimes I get a little carried away. I'm pretty heavy in with everything, like watching me care. <laughs> so after that, I go in with my Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. This is from First Aid Beauty. And I actually do want to try some other products from them. But um, right now, I love this stuff. And it's calming with the oats. It has colloidal oats in it. But my skin seems to like it, so I've been using that. It's just another hydrating step. It's a hydrating toner, basically. And then I usually go in all over my face. I showed you guys this, too. This is I think this might be the same skincare I've been using. But when my products are working, I like to stick to them. Um, unless after everything's done, then I like to try something different if I like it. So, um, this is my chemical exfoliant, 2% 2 BHA liquid exfoliant from Polish Choice. Put that on a cotton pad and then I just go over the areas that I want to exfoliate where I have like, see I have a little bit of darkness here. And a little, this is a scar. I don't know where I got this line from. I have no idea, but I've been working on that. And then a little bit on my cheeks. And then on this side, and then here, oh my chin. Because I tend to have like breakouts and like weird stuff happening on my chin. But that's it, I don't, and then maybe like across my nose because I have like this discoloration line. But that's it, I don't really go everywhere with it. And then I let that settle and I go with this eye cream. And I'm looking for a new eye cream just because I've been using this one for so long, I just want to switch it up a little bit. But this has been my favorite eye cream for a very long time. So I want to try something else out. This is my Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Eye Cream. And one thing new that I am trying out is this Oat Gel Moisturizer from Aveeno. Calm and Restore for Sensitive Skin. Because I've been looking for things that are specifically 
geared towards sensitive skin, um, things without fragrance, you know, natural, whatever. But I also got a sample of this from uh, First Aid Beauty. It's called Ultra Repair Framing Collagen Cream. And I didn't realize that all their things specialize in like, I was in Sephora and I saw that they call themselves the, the um, sensitive skincare specialist or something like that. So that's why I think I want to check out more of their products. But I really like this one. This is just a sample, but it feels really nice and it's not heavy or anything like that. But I like to use this kind of like in the daytime. And even though this one is a gel, this Avino one is a gel, I feel like it's very, very hydrating so far anyway. This is like the fourth time I'm using it. And that's it. And then I put on a little bit of A&D for my lips. And that's it, you guys. That's my um, skincare routine. That's my nighttime and my current daytime skincare routine. But, um, you know, I like to switch it up sometimes, so we'll see. But So that's it, you guys. That is my nighttime skincare routine. I just put a little A&D on, on my lips. And... Now I'm gonna relax. Face is clean and I'm currently sitting in one of my favorite areas in the house. I love this comfy chair. I just need to get an ottoman, I still haven't gotten one. I want a leather one. I did find one, I just haven't gotten it. Um, at least I thought, I think I found it. I haven't seen it in person only on the internet. Um, but I was looking around for some others, like, you know, some that I could just pick up instead of ordering. But anyway, we'll get back to that eventually. But yeah, so speaking of getting back to housework, there, um, we're still fixing up the house and everything, but we are working on like more of the landscaping, like the outside stuff now too. I mean, there's like a couple of little things inside that we need to finish, not huge things, but like detail kind of work that needs to get finished up. But we've been working on the landscaping outside. But outside of that, I haven't been feeling motivated like you guys, I don't know what's going on. So I haven't been feeling like, I don't know, I haven't had that extra energy to do Instagram reels and like, you know, all the things I just haven't I don't know and so next week I'm getting back on my regular schedule of taking photos and you know creating additional content and I make sure I get the videos out to you guys every week as far as my sit down videos um but I haven't really been feeling like like extra <laughs> so hopefully next week I'll get back to that and I really don't know why but I'm hoping this feeling passes quickly but it is what it is it happens sometimes and I haven't really been spending that much time on Instagram like just scrolling and socializing i haven't really been doing that so you know but we've been fixing up the house i mean we've been fixing up little things outside so on instagram you guys saw me like picking up pine cones in the yard there were so many pine cones but we've been focusing on the front these last couple of days these are a woodland phlox they're really cute and they smell so good this might be the first time i ever smelled a flower that smells so fragrant it smells so good like honestly we were in the line um checking out and a woman walked past she was like is that these are these flowers the ones that i'm smelling they smell so good so they're beautiful and they also have other varieties we were looking into a purple variety they didn't have them but we're looking it up to see if we want to include it but that's really cute and then i always forget the names of these what are these called hostas these are hostas these are going to be really pretty when we were watching videos about the different ones we we're going to choose this was absolutely gorgeous and we got like a bunch of different varieties but we really just wanted like different shades of green and then we got a few lavender plants they're not purple yet but they will be once they start blooming they're absolutely beautiful they need full sun or a lot of sun so they'll be cute in the front here and this is just under our tree so so what's this we need a lot more lavender plants so it could really fill it in because this actually, this area is way bigger than I thought. I thought that these plants that we just picked up today was going to be like a good amount. We actually need way more because it's actually a pretty big space. But it's going to be really pretty once it comes together. And I can't wait until these lavender plants really bloom. They're going to be nice. They're a bit like a big bush. They're going to get like really wide. And the place we went to, the Grover's Outlet, I mean, it's a little bit of a drive outside of Atlanta, but if you don't mind, the prices are really good. And all the people were so nice. Everybody was really lovely. I don't know, something about plant people. They're just happy people. So these are really nice. I'm excited. Winston's going to show me. He's more, he's the one with the green thumb. So he's going to show me, um, you know, how we're going to plant them and care for them and all that. But I'm really excited. It's going to be pretty. It took some planning, which kind of like took the excitement off of me. I'm not going to lie. But now that I see them here, they're, they're really, really beautiful. So... We'll see. And it's going to take time for the plants to mature and everything, but they're going to be so good. So far, this and the lavender are my two favorites. This is pumice rock, right? Mm -hmm. It's lava rock. It's pretty much the only rock that's lighter than water. It can float on water. And the reason is because, like, inside of it is a whole bunch of microscopic holes in it. 
that fills up with air. So this right here is clay, right? Clay is like, you, you've seen clay or Play-Doh before, right? It's like real soggy and hard and pretty much it'll, it'll kill or drown any plant that's planted in it if it doesn't like a lot of water. Most of these plants, most garden plants, they don't like to sit in water. But with pumice rock, even if it's covered in water, oxygen is trapped within the rock. So the roots of the plant can like pretty much still get oxygen while it's even submerged in water. So this is just like really like a backup, a little safety net, you know, for the plant so that they don't die from overwatering or drowning basically. And this is just an old mix that I had, like an old blend. With soil and pumice rock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that's the soil that you just bought? Uh huh. And then this is the original soil. I mean, the, the soil that came with the plant. And this is all the clay. Like, I don't even want to use all of that, but you still got to mix some of like the old clay in. But you see it's so like dry and hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is the progress. We did really good. A lot of like the, the actual, like breaking up the dirt to be able to plant what you have to do because the clay is just so hard and dry. You have to literally use like a pickaxe and break it up. It was really hard. So this is how it looks so far. I'm really excited to see how it looks once it fills in, like during the summertime. I mean like at the end of the summer and of course next year. But we decided we're also gonna put a rose bush over here. Our neighbor told us about a really nice rose bush that's easy to um, you know maintain. Cause I thought roses were hard, but actually they're not. Or the ones that they have or not. They're called uh, knockout roses. We're gonna try those. It'll be a nice, pretty pink shade added. And then um, we're gonna put some more lavender like over here. And these are the last three that have to be planted. Sorry, the sun is moving so my shadow's in the way, but these are the last three plants that we have today to plant. And then we gotta go back and get a few more of like, you know, the rose bushes to fill in. But it's gonna be really, really cute. And Winston's giving the place a little bit of water right now. Cause that clay, now I know what they talk about that Georgia clay. But it's really nice. And we decided to do a cluster of these over here instead of bringing them all the way around the tree just because it was so hard to um, to dig around the tree because the root system is so, it's just crazy. The previous owners, they buried the tree so much that the tree couldn't breathe. So it literally grew roots so far out and up that it just, it's, it made it difficult to plant. But anyway, we got it done and we might even get a couple more of these to cascade down. We'll see. But we did have to change the plans around, which happens you know, whatever. But anyway, I like the way it looks and I'm excited to see how it looks once it fills in. Cute. Garden update. We got a few more plants. Okay, so these are the double knockout roses that I was telling you guys about. They're supposed to be like really easy to um to keep. Like you, they're not hard like I thought roses were gonna be. And then we got these, hard, they're gonna be hydrangeas once they start blooming. They're already hydrangeas, but you know what I mean? Once the flowers bloom, it's gonna be really pretty. And then we got all the lavender here and some lavender back there over there. So it's gonna be really pretty when it fills out. But what me and Winston was just talking about is putting um, lavender all around here and then backing these up and being behind the lavender. So anyway, we gotta decide on that, but this is like the gist of it. So I'll just show you guys like when we have like the final, everything planted and then that's gonna be it. By the end of the summer, it should look good, but by next year, it should be like really filled in. But like next summer, that's gonna be beautiful. And then we found some roses. Our neighbors actually had these roses called Double Knockout, and they're really easy to care for. I thought roses were difficult and like, you know, hard to maintain, but these apparently are very easy. You don't have to do much, you just plant them. And you know what I mean, maybe water them. They need a little bit of sun though, because that tree is pretty shady. So we've had to make sure that we have um, some plants that are good in the shade and then the ones in the front of the tree are going to be they can take they're going to be like sunny kind of plants because it gets pretty sunny in front of the tree so anyway we've been focusing on that it's still some more planting to do and I'm telling y'all it was so hard planting out that those plants most of them was they actually had to do like physically digging the holes to put the plants in because I guess that's what they talk about with the Georgia clay because that Georgia clay is not a joke it is so hard and dense that like literally he had to take out his um like pickaxe and like use his strength to like 
break up the dirt or the clay. It was it's incredible. So we he added also some um like topsoil. We kind of put a little bit of that mix in and whatever. So it was fun to do it, and I'm really excited to see. But one thing's for sure, we've been putting that sweat equity in this house. Can't nobody tell us we have it. So that's cool. I'm excited to see, and I'll show you guys like you know what it looks like when it's all done. But that's pretty much it. So tomorrow I'm gonna go get my get a pedicure. I don't know if I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm telling you guys, I hate this manicure that I got right now. I hate it. Well, I like the French manicure. Like obviously I like the French. Classic looks good. But I thought I was feeling a little funky and got these rhinestones on my pinky finger. I wanted to do one rhinestone on each finger. I thought that was gonna be a lot cuter, like you know, like at the base. And so the girl was talking to me and she was like, oh, we could put a bunch on one finger. That'll be cute too. I hate it. I shouldn't have did it. And I think they're too big. Maybe if they were a little bit smaller, I would have been cool with it. But I hate it. So, but it was on, so I didn't take it off. But now I'm just going to stick to either a solid white or I might get French again. I don't know. But the set that I had before this, like the design that I had was really cute. But the girl that did it, she was out. Anyway, we'll see. And then I got to figure out what I'm going to get my nails done. But I'm going to try to vlog every day this week so that way I can have like a weekly vlog for you guys next Sunday. But let me know in the comments, like, you know, do you guys want more vlog content? What do you guys want to see? Because in the past I did ask you guys if you wanted more vlogs. And some people said yeah, but I don't think some people even tune in because not the same people who watch vlogs don't watch the sit down content, even though some of you do. So anyway, if you guys, um, you know, after you watch this, let me know what do you want to see more on my channel. I'm always taking like, you know, suggestions. But that's it for me, you guys. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Winston was supposed to make steak tonight, but he's not. He actually made corn dogs. <laughs> but when he was making the corn dogs, I was filming. So I didn't catch it. I didn't catch any footage of it. But pretty much that's it for me tonight. I'm going to do some work. I might have a cup of tea. And I want to watch a movie. And that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you haven't subscribed already, you guys make sure you do. And turn on your notification bells. Thanks for joining me in this vlog. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Oh.